Hello everybody and welcome to o the Odyssey of the Mammoth, the new free game on Steam that caught my interest. Um, because I was like, since when do you see a game about mammoths, right? Um, hopefully the game volume's fine. Um, it's supposed to be just a short little game. It's like, it's just a game about a mammoth, you gotta protect your baby. So I thought, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let's begin the Odyssey of the Mammoth. Welcome to the Odyssey of the Mammoth. My name is Scott Bennings, and I'll be accompanying you today as we venture back in time, back to the end of the last ice age. Okay. The lush vegetation covering these steps marks the beginning both of the Holocene and of the extinction of the Mammoth. Far from its herd, a young calf is spending some time by the river. That's a good premise there. The adorable creature is clueless of the danger it has walked into as it enjoys its time near the water. But nearby, trouble is approaching. Oh man. Oh, right into a load screen. Okay, well. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help me out. A mother's wrath. There's an attack. The footage that we are looking at is a simulation of the world of 12,000 years ago. This powerful giant, capable of breaking most things in its way, is the woolly mammoth. Yeah. Um, yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe. It really helps. Um, so please do it. Boom, attack. Its species has existed for thousands of years, even before that era, but wasn't able to adapt and survive into a modern world. Hence, mm. this isn't footage from a real camera, but a digital one, seemingly attached to this particular female pachyderm. I can only hypothesize that we are about to follow her journey of survival and her inevitable demise to this cruel environment. Okay, uh... Hey there, buddy. Hi. Alright, let's go. Come on, Junior. There's my guy. Alright, E to push. But for the moment, there is another who is in much greater immediate danger. The young calf is fighting off some courageous hunters who have seen an opportunity to make a name for themselves. <laughs> the sound effects. But its ingenuity is meaningless in the face of individual strained differences. Nevertheless, the baby mammoth is hurt and needs care. For animals in the wild, only time may heal all wounds. Okay, good to know. So there's not there's nothing I can do for Junior right now, I guess. Let's go! It's a beautiful game. This is a free game on Steam, and I quite like what it's got going on here. E to heal. Ah, I can heal him here. Ah, so or this cloudberry bush. <laughs> This isn't historically, or even scientifically. That's funny. I, I like I like how they're guiding me on the path with uh, trees and rocks. That that feels pretty good. Can I fall down here? Okay, I can't. Good to know. Good to know. All right. <laughs> I love the style! Regardless of the many wonderful plants and the great verdant scenery now appearing for the eyes of our duo, mammoths could not actually survive off this land. The warmer climates and expanding vegetation were a curse to the mammoth's way of life. It preferred the colder, previous ecosystem known as the Mammoth Steppe. These creatures might as well be currently staring into the fiery pits of hell itself. They will have to migrate. I just realized that I'm like carving a path through the, the grass. That's pretty cool. 
All right. Come on, Junior. Let's migrate. Is there anything I can do with these? No. Can I can turn really fast. Let's go. Wee. <laughs> It's like part walking simulator, part historical. But all the mammoth. pressing matter is at hand. It appears another ambush is about to befall or duel. Let us silently observe how the older pachyderm protects her offspring, if at all. Uh, Q, you you stay. <laughs> Reminds me of Angry Bird sound effects. Though I admire their courage, attacking a supervised baby mammoth with nothing but axes was a very optimistic endeavor. I can only assume those mammoths are now silently celebrating their victory. Come on, humans. Don't give it to them so easily. <laughs> it's like the narrator wants me to fail. It's like he's trying to be Bennett Foddy almost. Oh, he was, there was a little line there. Stomp. Yeah, we did learn how to do the stomp, didn't we, Junior? Boop, 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 boop. Because it appears it's time for another ambush already. Good luck. <laughs> Using encirclement tactics is definitely a smarter move. Too bad that stump is ridiculously strong against those. That's cheating. <laughs> Despite what prowesses they may be showing here, I assure you that mammoths did not cause the extinction. Of the <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That that that's a legitimately funny line. That's hilarious. Do I feel a fraudulent air of superiority emerging from the mammoth mother? Does she fancy herself to be superior to humans? Uh -oh. I wouldn't voice that opinion out loud. Were I to be in a metaphorical shoe, I wouldn't taunt Faith. Because Faith appears to have it out for her calf. There's more enemies waiting ahead on this trail. Yet, this will also offer a great opportunity for the mother to charge through them. How do I charge? Okay. Huh. It seems this one might have a bit of a brain on their head bump. Regardless of the physically large size of their brain, mammoths were not known to be smarter than humans. <laughs> Do not mistakenly fancy yourself to be intellectuals, you woolly lowly beasts. Yeah, I am a beast. You're full health, good junior. Now this is more like it. Spears. Javelin, the throwing sticks. Decide to get rid of those pesky mammoths. Uh, Junior. Junior, fall back. Okay, you wait here, Junior. I will investigate where they are. I told you to stay behind, Junior. It's not that I'm rooting against them per se. It's just that those humans have really given it their all to subdue these creatures. <laughs> They're being treated like throwaway jokes. Faces grunts in a hero's journey. That's exactly what they are, and apparently they can't hurt me. Well, I'm not having it. Someone has to tell those mammoths how things really are. It's a cruel and unfair world, and the story is one that is bound to end up in tragedy. They are slaves to history and the torrential passage of time. 
Yeah. The narrator and they really it. gotta get out of this place. I mean, it's trying to kill them every few seconds. No, but like, for real, what is this? This is crazy. That's not normal, right? I mean, what's happening? <laughs> Get away from my baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perhaps I was being a bit too gruesome there. I suppose one could envision a certain beauty to the way those mammoths refuse to give in, regardless of the difficulties ahead. Go and eat, Junior. Let's see how far we can get, buddy. So I don't appear to have health. Which is interesting. Just little Junior does. For instance... This river here could be a cursed chasm of the deepest regrets. The mother might be fine, but the baby mammoth? It won't attempt to cross it like her. Oh, what a useless boy. That's definitely what she's thinking right now. I'm sure she would just leave him behind if that thing wasn't sticking to her like glue. Not like there's much of a point to bring him around. What good is he anyway? Thinks he's all that, just cause he's a little bit cute. Come on, Junior. Atta boy. This is Junior, he is my son, and I will never let anything Another happen combat. to him. Another chance for a favorite debt way. Show off his absolute lack of utility. Go get them, baby mammoth. Hello, boys. <laughs> Your spear throwing could use some work, gents. Don't feel too bad, humans. These violent creatures will go instinct in time. Though I suppose this was still mostly self-defense. And I suppose that adorable blob is doing its best avoiding most of the hits so far. Hey, Junior. Hey. Junior. Well, uh... I can't call him right now, so hopefully... He catches up to me. Here he comes. There we go. That was weird, Junior. Stay with Mama. But, thankfully for them, this looks to be the way out of those inhospitable planes. Both the mammoth mother and the adorable munchkin here should be getting some peace and quiet soon. I yeah, suppose I don't believe I it. must oblige that some congratulations are in order for making it this far. So yeah, good job. Thank you. What's over here? Oh well, it doesn't matter to me, I guess. Do 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 do. I'm just doing mammoth mammoth things, you know. It's at the end of chapter one. Following the end of the last glacial period, which happened about around 15,000 years ago, the climate warmed and became more humid. The mammoth steppes of Eurasia were replaced by large forests across the continent, the Taiga. From that moment on, the woolly mammoths' range in numbers contracted and concentrated northward as their grassland habitat disappeared. 
So in case this goes on for a while, I'm going to record an outro, but you may not see it if I decide to put it all in one game. So thank you very so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Odyssey of the Mammoth episode 1. I'm going to finish it. It's cute. I'm going to finish it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Comment, tell me what you thought. It's free. You can try it out um, on Steam free. Of course, um, subscribe if you haven't already, it really does help me out. We stream on Twitch on uh, Tuesdays and Sundays. Great. Um, bleh, GMO Squad Presents, make sure to check it out. And we also have a podcast, a movie review podcast called The Great Movie Ride Podcast on YouTube Review your podcast at. That's going to do it for this video. So thank you once again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.